Hello, it's Graciela from PowerGI on the side of the screen. Welcome to our channel. In today's video, we're going to learn how to handle empty combo boxes when filtering galleries in Power Apps. We're going to do that based on this SharePoint list, which has a category column, and we want to filter the results in our gallery based on that column. I have already created my combo box. Now, what you would normally do is just go filter this app and then we're going to filter the category column based on the selection of the combo box. So when I hit play and I select a category, you're going to see that my results show up. However, when I empty my selection, then I see no results. The ideal scenario is that when nothing is selected, we're going to, we want to see everything. You can evaluate if the selection on the combo box is empty or not, and then show the, the full list. And if it's not empty, then do the actual filtering. This could work if you have very simple filters. But if you have filters based on the title, based on other columns, based on numbers, among others, that would mean that you would have to write more than once the same filters. And that doesn't work that well. So the best way to handle this is to use the same condition and just evaluate for emptiness in the selection. So what we're going to do is the category should be equal to the selected category in the combo box or if it's empty or if it's blank. Then just close parentheses and make sure that the selection here the is empty and the is blank, they are all part of the same logical test. What we are evaluating here is if we have a selection here, then bring everything that matches here. Or if not, if it's empty, then all of the rows are going to return true for this. So if I play and I select different categories, you see how everything is properly filtered. But then if I remove my filter, I just see the whole list. And by doing this, we avoid regriding filters and regriding code. And uh, we do everything in a very clean and simple line of code. This is also super helpful if you have more than one combo box. You would just need to add another logical test as a parameter into the filter and follow the same logic. That's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this useful, please subscribe and like and see you next time.